in this project, I use eight pounds bed with fire lines for stringing the beads. You can also use the jewelry wire like this one, but I think it's too stiff for this project. The fire lines is soft and more flexible and easy to work with. I found these magnetic claps with struts. They are perfect for this project. As you can see, they are quite strong. For jump rings, I use 6mm in 24 gauge, 5mm wire guard, 6mm cream cover, and cream beads. Freshwater pearl size between 4mm to 6mm, 6mm facetted bicon beads, and 10mm pearl beads. I use the bead board to help with my design. This is the first part of the necklace, which contains two pieces of the stringing pearls. I lay everything I need on the board when I design, so I don't miss anything. And now I finish my design, which I'm happy with. Connect the jump rings to the claps, so they are ready to be used. Cut the wire in proportion of your wrist plus 10 cm. In my case, it's 30 cm. Put one cream bead on the wire. Leave about 10 cm wire tail. Weave the wire through the cream beads like a loop. And repeat one more time to make sure that the cream bead not falls off. and leave it this way. I will crimp it after the wire guard is in place. Put the wire guard on the shorter tail and pull the wire through the channel on the wire guard. Guide the wire through the crimp bead, but make sure that the wire doesn't cross each other. With help of the needle tool, pull the wire guard in place. Before crimping, make sure that you leave some millimeter space between crimp bead and the wire guard. Put on the crimp cover on the crimp bead. Make sure that you have the right size. It's easier to use the flat nose plier when you crimp the cover. This is how the ends of the stringing wire are made. Time to string the beads. I use the beading needle to help with the stringing because I think the wire is too soft to use it alone. Now string the beads as you are designed. To finish the end, repeat the same way as the beginning. Just a little bit trickier. Make sure that the cream bead doesn't sit too tight to the beads. It should be flexible. To install the wire guard, repeat the same way as the first end. Make sure to leave some space for the cream cover to fit in between the pearl and the wire guard before crimping. With help of the needle, Weave rest of the wire through a few of pearls and pull it tightly and fasten off. Install the cream cover to finish the piece. Hide the ends and cut off the excess wire. For the second string, repeat the same way as the first one.
These two strings are the first part of the necklace of my design. To install the claps, just connect the jump string on the claps to the wire gap. And now the first part of the necklace is finished. With help of designing board, lay the beads as you are designed before stringing. The second part of my design has two strings with different types of beads and length. For the ends of the string, repeat the same way as the first part. Make sure that you have a correct length. To install the claps, from one side connect the longer string first, then the shorter one. From the opposite side, connect the shorter string first, then the longer string. Make sure that both of the string line up correctly. Now the second part of necklace is finished. Time to assemble the necklace. This is the design I want to create. The necklace can be worn in different ways. I like to show you the different way to wear this necklace. You can wear it like a rope necklace. Or you can separate them and wear it like an opera necklace and the shorter one like a choker. The choker can be separated and wear them like a bracelet. I think this design is fun and useful. I hope you like it too. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.